Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my October Pan Those Eyeshadows update. I have some updates for you all. I know I am the absolute worst project panner. I completely forgot to update in September. We have a lot to go through, so let's get started. If you are new around here, hi, thank you for joining. I hope you guys enjoy using what you own type of content. If you're not familiar with the Project Panda's eyeshadows, essentially I'm just randomizing shades from my collection of eyeshadows and my goal is to use it until I hit pan. So pretty self-explanatory. I do have a couple rules for myself. One is if I use a shade 20 times and I have not hit pan, I can choose to roll it out. Two, if a shade has been in my project for at least three months and I haven't hit pan and I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon, I can roll it out then as well. I randomized five shades from my collection using a random number generator and the sixth shade in my project is one that I pick for myself. It's usually just an easier shade that I think I'm close to doing pan on and gives me an excuse to actually use it. I feel like I never actually go over what this project is, so if you aren't familiar with it, then it's probably a little weird and confusing. So sorry if this seems tedious, I just felt like, you know, sprinkling a little, little refresh. Let's go ahead and talk about the shades. I did hit a bonus pan this month month in my ABH Soft Glam palette. The bonus pan I hit is Burnt Orange, which is this warm neutral on the bottom. I did hit a pretty sizable pan. One of these shades is in the project that I'm going to show you in just a second. I did hit a bonus pan. I got a ton of use out of this palette as a whole. I don't even know if you guys watched my last update, but I feel like this palette in general just looks a lot more used. And the shade out of here that I was working on is Tempura, which is this top corner shade. So I hit two pans in this palette this month. I used Tempura nine times since my last update and it only took me five uses to hit pan. So I was able to deepen that pan up a little bit. I used it primarily as a lid setting shade. I've been doing a lot of concealer instead of eye primer lately. So I've just been putting a little concealer on my eyes. And then I just set it with kind of like a skin tone shade or something like this, like very white and sparkly. It also also makes just a really nice subtle brow bone highlight and there's another tempera shade in my modern renaissance palette that I think I'm gonna try and work on next so that is my first two pans down go us two in one palette pretty excited the next shade we're gonna talk about comes from my ColourPop Anna frozen 2 palette and if you've been around since the beginning of my project last year or even this year I don't love this palette as much as I used to love this palette because it constantly gets rolled in. But the shade Adventure is this purple shade right here and I did manage to hit pan. I'm gonna see if I can, oh wait, I just had it. I just had it. I'm gonna find a like, little glimmer. You can kind of see it's like little teeny dot right up there. Little teeny baby pan. I used Adventure two times this month for a grand total of seven uses to hit pan. I did use it on a liner brush, so I was able to penetrate in the same spot, and so it only took me seven uses to hit pan. Plus, I do have a crumble in the side of the shade that I was working on, so it really was kind of like a cheat, but there is technically pan in here, so I'm gonna count it. I use this as a faux liner primarily. I would do like all neutral looks, especially with like burnt orange from the Soft Glam palette. I would do like a warm neutral and then just a faux liner using Adventure, and that's primarily how I used it to pan on it. I'm very excited to have it done though. Now we have four pans in this palette. I will count that as a win. I'm excited to roll this one out. If you know, you know. The next shade we're gonna talk about comes from my ColourPop and Kathleen Light's The Zodiac palette. And the shade I've been working on out of this one is the Pisces, which is this really pretty aqua teal shade at the bottom. I'm in love with this shade. Prior to rolling this palette into the project, I don't feel like I've used it in a really long time. So to be able to use it and enjoy a shade like this so much, love. I used the Pisces four times since last update for a grand total of seven uses total in the project so far. I love this shade. It has been so fun to play with. I actually just did a look, I think yesterday or the day before, where it was like blue, like this aqua teal to purple. I did like a purple smoky eye and then right on the inner part of my lid I did a blue. I used the Pisces. I'll have to include pictures because it was gorgeous. I am obsessed. And then I also did all aqua looks in my last Panda's eyeshadows update, which I will link in the cards if you haven't seen it already. I did a look all over using this color. So it was beautiful. It's been, like I said, primarily a lid shade. It's a really pretty shimmer. It does take a hot second to build up because this is one of the older ColourPop formulas. I feel like I have to layer it several times to get it to look 
the opacity I want, but it hasn't crumpled. It stays on really well. The quality is great. I don't feel like I have to use a glitter glue or anything with it. I just spritz my brush with a little bit of setting spray, but the Pisces is staying in. Actually, let me do swatches while I'm thinking about it. This is such a pretty shade though. Let me do that one more time. I promise it looks better than that. There we go. The Pisces, such a gorgeous shade. I'm actually enjoying using this one so much. I was a little nervous, but it's been good. The next shade comes from my Milk Cosmetics. This is the Amori Mariposas palette. This was their holiday palette from last year. And the shade we've been working on is Nueva Vida, which is this deep, rusty, like brick red. I used Nueva Vida seven times since last update for a grand total of 12 uses in the project. It is not looking insanely different. The butterfly at best is starting to look a little blurred, but you can still see a ton of that detailing in there. These shades are so tightly pressed and they're so pigmented. I'm pretty sure if I'm remembering correctly, this is a pigmented palette, like a pressed pigment palette. So the likelihood of me hitting pan on this shade is not very high. My intention was to use this the 20 uses and roll it out, but because we are not quite there at 20 uses, this one is staying in the project, but I've enjoyed it. The looks that I'm remembering using this shade with because I feel like I take pictures of my looks and then I forget which palettes I use on them. I did like a maroon and gold look. So I did like a gold on the lid and then like some warm neutrals and that deep red in the corner. And so it was kind of like a gold to maroon, which was really pretty. I've also used it to deepen up just neutral looks. I just take the tiniest little bit and kind of smoke it out. So I, I don't like to use it too much on purely neutral looks if I want a true neutral look because it does have that red tone to it, but it is fun to play around and kind of mix it with some like oranges and reds and stuff. I find it's very pretty. I did do an all orange and red look though that I used it with just in the outer corner to deepen it out and it was beautiful. The next shade we are going to talk about comes from my ColourPop and Hocus Pocus Witching Hour palette, Hocus Pocus. Did anyone see Hocus Pocus 2 yet? Because your girl's obsessed. I've already watched it like three times. Times. But the shade we've been working on out of this palette is Fur as Black as Black, which is this bottom deep teal. I will be honest, I did not use this a single time this month, which means we're at three months of this shade being in the project and we're sitting at two uses. Because I didn't use it this month, I am going to decide to roll it out. It has been in the project for three months and I have only used it two times out of the three months that it's been in my project. So I'm ready to put this one away, try something different. It was not my finest moment. We're not gonna talk about the fails, okay? We're just gonna talk about the wins, which are the pans. And the last shade comes from my ColourPop and the Child Baby Yoda palette. And the shade is Little Frog, which is this bottom olive shade. I have only used this shade one time since I rolled it in last update, and I'm actually using it today. So the one time I used it is today. I used it as a crease shade, and then I also used my Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. So I used Little Frog in the crease, and then I just went in with this shade, which is Leo, deepened that up a little bit, and then I used this shimmer right here, goals, as well as a yellow just right in the center for my halo eye. I actually really enjoyed this shade. I'm not sure if it's one that I'm gonna enjoy enough to consistently use this green until I hit pan, because these ColourPop shades are a little tough but I did like the look and I do want to try some more looks using like just this palette. I feel like that would be fun. I really like this palette. So this one is staying in as well. So here are the three shades that are staying in the project so far. And now I'm going to go ahead and randomize two shades. I already know which shade I'm picking for myself to work on. Let's randomize the numbers. Oh, the two shades I rolled are cohesive. It is not the color story I expected for this time of year, Halloween, but it's cohesive. Can't ask for anything better than cohesive, let me be real. So the first shade I rolled in comes from my Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dreams palette, and the shade that I rolled in is Blue Sky. Blue Sky is this electric blue matte right at the bottom. I feel like that would look really cool with the Pisces. There's a lot I can do with that. And I think this palette in general is a lot of fun. I haven't gotten to use it too too many times but i'm excited to play around with it some more look at that that's chef's kiss and the second randomly generated shade we pulled comes from my huda beauty pastels mint palette and the shade that i got is this shimmery teal up at the top in my notes i have it as mint shimmer i don't think these have names but this is just kind of like a really pretty 
chunkier shimmery aqua shade it would make a really good lid topper i can use it on just about anything like honestly if i did this blue in the crease with this teal on the lid and this on top of the teal i think we'd be set up for success now the hand selected shade i'm picking for myself does not necessarily go with the color story it could i feel like there's a lot i could do because the shade i'm picking is from the ColourPop malibu barbie palette and I'm gonna be choosing SoCal right at the bottom. This was in my project last year and I actually got pretty good progress on that. It is a pretty deep dip. I don't think I'll hit pan in one month, but I do think by the end of the year I could have pan in it. And I'm working on a yellow in my A to Z project pan. So I thought my candy corn looks Halloween orange. So as I was saying, I feel like orange and blue are opposite colors on the color wheel that looks like cheeto dust okay not my best swatch it looks like i just fudged some cheeto dust honestly all these swatches look a little terrible but i feel like the blue and the orange because they're opposite colors i could do some really interesting contrasty looks it's a little bit of a wild color story but some of these shades are making sense in my head so i'm hoping that we'll have some fun looks to share by next update Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, please let me know if you're doing this project. I would love to keep up with anyone else that's doing it. And if you have any suggestions on shade matches, looks, let me know. Your girl could always use some inspiration. I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are and I'll see you all later. Bye friends.